Hi everyone, Oricon here once again, and welcome back to Oricon Gaming. We are continuing our series of upgrading the uh, Digimon Card Game Starter Decks and seeing which one is the best. Uh, today we're going to be playing and reviewing the upgraded Kokaitis Blue Starter Deck, uh, which my wife is going to be playing. I'm going to be piloting my upgraded Heaven's Yellow Starter Deck, which we have not talked about yet. That will be in the next video. But for now, let's just get started. We're going to do a quick best of one. And I'm going to roll. And I got a 11. So you will be going first, probably. Not necessarily. Well, yes, necessarily. Okay. okay, so I'll be going first. All right. Flip these silly things over. There we go. And they have now Ooh. officially been added to my store. Oh, good. They are now officially on the Etsy store. Which link will be in the description below. I'm going to play it this TK and put you at two memory. All right. Okay. I'm going to evolve to a Gabumon, which allows me to draw. And uh, I'm going to play Matt. And. A Gomamon for three. Gomamon for three, all right. Mm -hmm. I finally drew a rookie, so I will play okay. the Tapermon. It's been a turn. A turn. Finally. I know, but if you don't get one in your opening turn, you feel like, oh, it's the end of the world already. Yeah. Because it can definitely put you far back. Yeah. But that's just because you're being dramatic. I'm always dramatic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you to two. And you know, I really wanted to use this memory gauge. It is way too big. It, it's so cute. This is the... Um, can you see it? This is the yeah. Crest of Kindness from yeah. Season 2 of the Digimon anime. Uh, it's the crest of my favorite character, Ken. Uh, but that thing is just too big, so we're just going to go back to using that. Well, All right, one and it's my turn, I have two. Yes, it's your turn. Draw. Mm. I'm going to swing with this little baby and the security. Okay. And die. And die. And do it again. And probably also die again. Okay. And yes, die very again. much. Remember, you are not playing a Rookie Rush deck. I, I am doing what I can. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm at four. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring out this big boy here. Mm-hmm. Evolve into my Seraphimon, which takes you back to two. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it is raining outside. Um, mm. I apologize if that comes out out, out on the uh, microphone. I'm not sure if it will. Um. Uh, last time we recorded some gameplay footage, uh, there were various things going on in the background, and it kind of ruined them a little bit, but um, and oh well. See, I would say it the opposite way of that as, you're welcome. You get to hear the calming, relaxing sounds of the outside and the rain that sounds nice. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now at two. two. And I got a blocker and a blocker on deck. Yeah. I am going to swing for security, win attacking, Angemon mm -hmm. has an ability, I gain one, uh, no, if I have four more security, I gain one memory, but you already took out a bunch of my security, so it doesn't do anything. Okay, but do you get plus one or anything? No, no, it's just one security. Okay. 7,000 Zudamon. Okay. Goodbye. And then I will 
put down a blocker mm -hmm. and put you to three memory. Four. Oh, four memory. Because he has no... He has no Digivolution sources, so your mat activates. Yep. Okay. Does he have any plus anything on him? No. Seraphimon? No. no. Okay. Um, okay wait, I'm going to do the maths just like that because I run out of room over here sometimes. Yeah. It um, happens. All right. Hey, I need, heard you need some security. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I mean, that is definitely a choice. It is the choice I have to make right now. Okay. I mean, technically, there were other choices I can make, but that was the one that seemed the best at the moment. Okay. I'm going to play a TK for two. Mm -hmm. What does TK do? Uh, it means that once you, if you hit something in my security, mm -hmm. it gives it plus 2,000 DP. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, since I have two of them, it would actually be plus 4,000 DP. Got it. And I will play a Magna Angemon for seven, mm -hmm. putting me at one, and then evolve to a Magna Dramon, putting you at one. Uh, putting me at three. Yeah, your mats activate, and you have three. Okay. Draw one start. I should have attacked. Mm-hmm. Oh, should well. have. Um, all right. I think those mats might have um, won you the game, but we'll see. Because it'll allow you to attack, attack with both of your blockers. I'm going to swing. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That actually kills kills him. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, that saved me. Yeah, it did. But yeah, these these TKs really come in. Swing. Um. Block. That's fine. That's your only blocker? That's my only blocker, yeah. Um, okay, two. And swing. What does okay. that do? Holy Flame. Uh, all of your opponent's Digimon gain security attack minus one for the turn. So okay. that means your other blocker can't really attack. Yeah. Not that I would advise that anyway. What? Why not? <laughs> um... Your turn. My turn. Put him back up. Get another rookie. Mm -hmm. Second rookie I've ever seen. All of game. Um, okay, the only level five I've had was in my security, so I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and this this boy that got murdered, the Metal Guru man was in my dealt hand at the beginning. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Okay, I mean, it happens. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so first off, I am going to swim with my Magnetron. Um, when attacking, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1,000 DP for the turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kill, kill off him. the Gomamon. Um, Are you swinging for security or for... I was going to swing for um, security. Okay. And when an opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping to zero DP, his Digimon gets uh, plus 1,000 DP for the turn. So he's at 11,000 right now. Okay. So, seven. Okay. 
And then I'm going to swing in once again. And he has 11,000. Okay. No. So that's everyone so far has been a level 5 in there. Yeah. I mean, it happens sometimes. Uh -huh. um, after that, I will just... Evolve to a Gatomon there. Mm -hmm. And play down a Salomon for two. And that gives me, puts me up to four. That puts you up to four, yes. That is such a frustrating hand. Oh my god. All right. Going to swing for security. Okay. I'm going to block so they... Kill. Nope, they don't kill each other. Oh, you've got pluses? Uh-huh. Well, this opponent gets plus 1,000 when battling an opponent that has no Digivolution cards. Okay. Um, I will... Let, let that one go through? I'll let that go, one go through then. Mm-hmm. Because of course I will. Oh, I know. And... I'm not going to take our blockers out. Don't I mean, it's game. Like, either I play something... How many cards do you have in your hand? Four. Let's see. I'll only be able to block one of your guys, which still means you have three to play off of. I don't have another blocker I can put down. My best case scenario is past turn. That's your best case scenario? Yeah. I, okay. I will explain at the end of this turn. Okay. So, first I will uh, attack security. And, and nope. Okay. That one doesn't attack security. That's fine. When attacking, it does do minus 5,000 to him. Okay. Uh, then I will attack security and does minus 1,000, so it takes out the blocker. Yep. And there goes the only chance I had. The only chance was if I had two hammer sparks. Yeah. Swing for security. Mm -hmm. And then swing for game. Yeah. So the reason I said that was my best case scenario was if there were two hammer sparks in there, then that I would have had another chance. Because my other options were give you eight memory, give you eight memory, give you ten memory, <laughs> or my two hammer sparks. And if I had given, the only chance I had was if there had been two hammer sparks in there. Because none of these would extend, none of these would have given me blocking at all. No, that's true. And I literally the whole game never got a level five in my hand. So the game started with these two in my hand. Mm. And that. So, I think I know the answer. What do you think of the blue deck? I got no level fives. That was very frustrating. Um, I mean, that could happen with any deck. I just, the ratios are 
off on these early level decks for what I'm used to playing. See, I, um, I changed the ratios. I know. They should be better. It's better than before because there weren't like, I only passed turn once. Whereas when we were playing the other ones, there were multiple times I felt like I had to pass turn. If it weren't for your TKs, I would have had a chance. But TK is a good card for yellow. Yes. Um, and one that I don't see very often. Yeah, because it's... Well, because people don't play yellow a lot. Well, yeah, it's just, it's mostly, it's reactionary. It gives pluses to security Digimon, but a, a great many people don't attack until they can kill you in one turn. So that's not going to matter. Like, se the security Digimon can be as powerful as they want to be. Yeah. So, yeah, so what are your, what are your overall thoughts on the blue deck? I mean, I still like the strategy of blue, generally. This one is more... It feels like they hadn't figured out what blue was going to do yet. Yeah. Like, in some ways, there were we're going to try and make it somewhat defensive, and we're going to take out other people's things, but not really yet. Yeah. Um, they hadn't... I feel like where the game is now, they've figured out more what blue strategy was, and at this point, they were still feeling it out. Yeah, um, um, it's true that that deck that I uh, that I made uh, is very much built around um, you, stripping people of their sources and using that as an advantage to gain more memory. Um, but after you do that, you know that's that's a Stalling. It's a stall tactic. It's not really a win condition. The The goal would be to u utilize that extra memory to play a wide board and overwhelm, like, rookie, you know, rush them. Yeah. Um, but it's not quite as efficient. As a good old-fashioned rookie rush. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there weren't enough rookies in the game to make a rookie rush deck at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you did, like, a rainbow rush. Yeah, you could. Um, but yeah, I do think blue was in a was uniquely bad position in, at this early point in the meta, and yeah. they get a lot better. Yeah, it's like like season one where the writers don't really know how to write the character yet. <laughs> yes. Um, like in the later seasons, they figure out who the character is and what the fans like, but this is still like... The hints are there of what it's going to be, but it's not there yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that was our quick best of one look at the blue deck. Um, it did not do very well, but, you know, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, if you guys, if you all would, uh, like to see a deck profile, um... On this blue deck, I have it on the channel as well. I will link it in the end cards. See, I'm gonna have to watch that because I don't believe there were any level fives in here. There were there are eight level fives in the deck. I think that's a lie, so I'm gonna have to watch that video to find out. Okay, I think that's eight. There might be more than eight. Oh, see, he's there already lying. There are definitely at least eight in there. Nope, there's no level fives in here. That's what he just said, guys. Okay. <laughs> well, we will be back in just a bit with another gameplay video showcasing the yellow deck. Uh, and we will see which of the three upgraded starter deck comes out on top. Yeah. Yeah. Here All we right. go. All right, everyone. Bye. Bye.